If you're free, maybe we can go for that drink now. Who knows you're here, Leslie? If you want to go somewhere more private, we can go to your hotel. Or we can go to the office. I have the keys. You know, Mr. Crenshaw usually keeps a nice bottle. <gasps> oh. When I ask you a question, you need to answer. Ow, ow, ow. You're hurting my neck. Who knows you're here, Leslie? No one, okay? No one. Let's go to your office. Fuck. You know, everything you did in the car today was almost right. Almost. But I didn't buy it. Is Daniel Parment your real name? Why wouldn't it be? Because you're less than two months old. You have a bank account, an address in Texas, and a driver's license. You never owned or leased a car before this one. You never had a credit card and you never had a mortgage. You know, I've traveled a lot. My family business pays for everything. And the only house you showed any interest in was the one back there. Mr. Rodrigo's. Really? It was back there? Really. You know, I looked into Mr. Rodrigo, too. He's only six months old. Okay, why are you parking all the way over here? We could have parked right in front of the office. There'd be no cars there this time of night. Let's go. Unless you don't want a chance of being seen. Is that what's going on? Wait a minute. Keep moving. Uh. Don't turn those on. Ah, English accent. I knew you were from Texas. Look at that. A nice job, Lee. Will you be joining me? Okay, well, I'm thirsty. Ugh. <laughs> I drink too much, and I worry too much. Divorce pushing 40. I have a sister I haven't spoken to in five years, and I'm stuck with my mom. Doesn't look like she's gonna kick off anytime soon. I'm sick of chauffeuring these fucking entitled, Want to be playboys who've never worked a day in their life? Showing them houses that I can never afford? Laughing at their jokes that I can't stand? Oh, while fending off their gropes. But not all their gropes. Because you never know, one of these days I just might get a full commission. So if you're gonna kill me, go ahead. I live with a snapshot of my future. And nobody's gonna know, and nobody's gonna care. But if you're not, I can help you. Help me. People in Palm Beach are sharp, very sharp. And people like you only come down here for one reason, money. And I don't know what you're into, kidnapping, extortion, robbery. But whatever it is, you're gonna need somebody who knows the territory or you're gonna get caught. Take off your clothes. What? I'm not sure if I'm better off with you alive or dead. Either way, I have to know if you were in a wire. I've been in a third of the houses around here, and I know the rest. I can answer your questions, and I can tell you what questions you're forgetting to ask. And all I'm asking is for you to give me a small piece so I can get the hell out of here. Turn around. What? Turn around.
You know, to even find Rodrigo, you had to play that roundabout game with me. And all it did was make me suspicious. I mean, how many people do you want asking questions about you? Lift your hair. Dressed. Wash up the wine glasses, look up before you leave. I'll think about it. 